hello everyone so this is part 4 of our video series based on crispr cas9 gene editing technology how to design your project in this video i am going to tell you how you can design your sgrna but before going to design sgrna i want to talk a very briefly about the sgrna the very basic question could be what is the sgrna as we know that the crispr cas9 gene editing technology is derived from the bacterial adaptive immune system where there are two rnas used to cleave the invader bacteriophage genome one is CRISPR RNA and the other is transactivating CRISPR RNA. But as the CRISPR Cas9 uh, system is repurposed for the targeted gene editing in eukaryotes and even in other prokaryotes, so synthetically these two RNAs, CRISPR RNA and transactivating CRISPR RNA are fused together and they are formed in a single form so that is called single guided RNA now in simple words what is the single guide RNA in very simple words this is your special uh, this is your special region and this is the complement of your special region so this can be considered as sgrna one thing that is more important in the sgrna biology is the pam what is pam pam is the downstream region of the sgrna so this protospacer adjacent motif is the downstream of the uh, your sgrna as this uh, pam is modified and some other nucleotides are included and some are like varied form of this pam is also uh, introduced today but in this case we will focus only on ngg as i have talked about that in a native form in natural form the adoptive system of the bacteria are is consist of crispr rna and transactivating crispr rna so in genome editing system these two rna are synthetically combined and they are formed in the new shape that is called sgrna and this is the synthetic form of this sgrna and as i have talked to you that this sgrna is the complement to your uh, protospacer region and this is the the uh, the downstream of your pam region protospacer adjacent motif uh, in other video i will uh, talk in very detail that what is CRISPR RNA? What is transactivating CRISPR RNA? How they, how and why we need to recombine them synthetically? What is PAM and varied form of the PAM and varied form of the Cas9? But this video we will only focus on the very brief introduction. Now one need to know about his his or her project that how he or she have designed their project what they want to do what they want to carry out with that project either they want to do the mm, knockout of their gene or either they want to do with the uh, over expression or the down regulation of their gene or either they want to to do the single base change in case if you want to do knock out of the gene so you need to mainly focus on your sequence and your location is also important you for example in this video we will go for the design of sgrna 
for the knockout and in this case we will use the gene VEGFB so first we will try to find the um, transcription start site of this gene and then we will design two sgRNA one is downstream and one is upstream of the transcription start site so in that case we will uh, knock out that gene if you want to do the over expression or the down regulation interference of that gene so your location and your sequence both are almost equally important in this case you will target the for example your gene v v e g f b and you want to down regulate as we will talk about a paper that has been published from our lab very recently you want to down regulate so for down regulation you will need to target the uh, pro the activation site the uh, promoter site of this gene and in other case if you want to change a single base then your location is very very important because you, where you want to make that change is very important because maybe you want to uh, to do premature termination of their gene so that become more important this is very important you might know what do you want to do in this project for example we are going to do the double strand break in this project so we will design our sgRNA according to the theme according to the objectives of our project so this can be used as the double strand break as you know, the wild case 9 for example you want to or express your gene of interest so in that case you have to target the activator and what is that activator that activator could be your promoter it is very difficult to find the promoter of a gene so in this case you can just think about the transcription start site and you can design your sgRNA few hundred basis upstream of that uh, transcription start site the similar with if you want to down regulate that gene you need an inhibitor and you need to target the promoter site for your gene of interest so in this case if you want to over express your gene of interest you need vp64 vp64 is the tetramer, tetramer of vp16 and this function as over expression of the gene but if you want to down regulate your gene with the CRISPR interference in this case you need the CRAB domain so you have to add VP64 domain into your plasmid construct in case if you want to over express your gene and you will need the CRAB domain in your plasmid construct in case if you want to down regulate your gene of interest means knockdown in other scenario in a in another case if you want to make a single base change for example look over here the t has been changed into a and i will explain this paper in quite detail because one of our friend he has he has submitted this paper and we we have also made available its preprint so I will make an, uh, a separate video based on this paper and how we designed the sgRNA for a single base change. So friends, uh, in this slide uh, I have shown few databases that you can uh, you can go through and you can play with them just to see that how these databases are working for designing of uh, sgRNA, but sgRNA designing I will not use any of these look here that so few steps are very important for you for designing your uh, sgRNA the most important is design CRISPR RNAs for your experimental goal 
what are your experimental goal for us the experimental goal is the deletion of VEGF B right so we want to delete this so we will design our sgRNA according to this theme ensure on target activity of guide RNA yes of course you need to ensure on target and minimize off target effects of your sgRNA for this purpose we will uh, we will try to find the off targets of this sgRNA among the genome of that organism and for this purpose we will use ncbi blast tool and for improve CRISPR knockouts by using multiple RNAs yes of course you can design more RNAs you can design two four five six seven eight nines uh, that depends upon you and depends on your uh, experimental design uh, many plasmids are available from add gene that at the same time you can add up to two to three uh, constructs uh, sgRNAs at the same time as they have made like a, a u6 promoter scaffold and then uh, the some chicken beta actin promoter and then case 9 we will talk about it in quite detail in other video choose the best CRISPR design tool yes this is very important you might choose the best design tool to design your sgRNA because if you if you are fair to design the proper sgRNA that was the best one so the rest of you were all the project in simple word the project is based on your sgRNA so you might choose the best CRISPR design tool there are some uh, tools like Syntego uh, and some others but for me the best one is Benchling how Benchling is working let's go towards the Benchling but before going to Benchling I will show very quickly that how to find the sequence of VGF B from NCBI and then how to tally it with the ensemble right in this slide i have shown that the strategy to design your sgRNA you might know what do you want to do with this gene so here our gene of interest is VEGFB right and we want to we want to delete this gene from where from whole body if we want to do it conditionally then we will need some specific promoter and that promoter will 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 take this machinery to only that tissue for example we want to delete this gene only from lungs so in that case we will need the promoter a uh, human surfactant protein c and this promoter will track all this machinery only to the uh, lungs uh, personally I am doing with some other things and uh, that paper is not published so I cannot talk about that and that is a little um, different from this one first of all you go to find the sequence of your gene of interest so this is the sequence of your gene of interest double stranded DNA then you found the transcription start site of your a gene of interest by you uh, from NCBI and from ensemble then you have to design two sgRNAs sgRNA1 and sgRNA2 because you want to delete a certain segment of the DNA so you have designed these two sgRNA using bench link the next thing is what you will do to to know about the genotype you what you will do to know about the transgenic cells or animals or plants whatever 
this you can do very simply with just conventional PCR and very easily first you need one forward primer and you need one reverse primer so this forward primer will amplify this region will start from here and it will go like this way now we don't know where this sgRNA will make a cut usually it make cuts over here but it can happen ev ev everywhere anywhere and this reverse primer this will amplify this region right so this will amplify this region for example let's talk about this from a uh, pro forward primer till the uh, sgRNA1 this region is 50 nucleotide uh, base pairs right and from here from reverse primer to the sgRNA the this region is for example 100 nucleotide base pairs right and let's consider this region as 500 nucleotide base pairs right okay so in this case you what you will do you will do the PCR and in this PCR for example you have one well you have another well and you have another well in this well you run the marker for example uh, let consider these different markers over here now you calculate this region for while type so for while type you add 50 with 500 with 100 so this become 650 and for example this is the 600 uh, base pair marker you call this while and you call this transgenic right okay so in while you must see a band just equal to this 600 base pair this is your marker and in wild it might be equal to but in transgenic right you add 50 you add with 100 and uh, for example some plus minus uh, somewhere you your sgRNAs uh, make a cut in different place so in that case you just do 50 bases just as a uh, as a control so you add 50 with 100 with 50 so this become 200 and for example you have 200 marker over here so you will see a pen over here equal to this 200 and this is your transgenic and you are good luck so congratulations to you.